I want to point out a couple of things that I think is so interesting about words you're using. And this is what I have found about the psychedelic community. Being called to the medicine. Let's just use that one comment right there. When I walk into my doctor's office, I'm given a prescription. I'm never asked to use my feminine intuition as to whether that prescription is right for me or not. Yet you're dealing with a group of people who are behind the psychedelic idea and they're not saying everybody has to do this. They're saying if you're called to do it. That to me should be the number one rule when it comes to healthcare for women. Mm. Are you called to do something? Because you have such a wicked female intuition that if you're called to do it, I guarantee it's the right thing. But when you're shut up and given a prescription and you're just told to take it and it shuts down your female intuition, now I don't care how powerful that prescription is, we are building disease. Oh my gosh, thank you for saying that. It's so true because not only are you given a prescription, you're given a prescription with these conditions that just yes. layers in this massive amount of fear that if you tarry on either side and you screw it up, you're done. And so yes. you have to do it exactly as you're told. And so many people come to us and the number one question I get is, how do I microdose? And then it's, I mean, the truth is, and you know this, it's not rocket science. Like no. when you let go of the allopathic way of thinking, the prescriptive yes. way of thinking, it's actually quite destabilizing for most women because they want, frankly, a dude in a coat to write down something and tell you when to take it, how to take it, exact amount. And what we really try to teach is like, again, listen to that intuition. Yeah. And listen yeah. to your body. And the one beautiful thing that I think psilocybin has really done, especially for me, and I have decades of like trauma, I mean, surgery after surgery after surgery, and I'm still unweaving all of that. But what it made me do was actually feel in my body. And you're so right. When you, your body tells you when it's it right. It knows what to do. It yeah. knows what to do. That's the whole principle of fasting is take yeah. food out of the equation and watch the miracles your body can perform. Right? And it's it's been really interesting in, you know, Fast Like a Girl sold over a half a million copies within the first year. So and good. I'm so grateful for all the incredible like testimonials. But I keep telling my audience like, I'm not a guru. I'm not like, I didn't do this for you. I gave you a tool that tapped into your own healing power, which is the same message that I hear in the psychedelic community, which is, it's not, it's not even the medicine doing it, it's not the delivery of or whoever took you through the experience if you macrodose, but it is opening up an innate channel within your body, and I can explain brain-wise here in a moment like how that happens, that is allowing you to tap into your own power. And as women, I believe that's the number one focus we need to have right now is we are so powerful, but we have been living in a patriarchal world that has not allowed us to let that fly. I'm like, yeah. let it fly now, ladies. Like, let's just let it go. It's, it, it is our moment. Let it fly. And also, there's so much nuance inside that. We're told that everything has to be black or white. And I love that you picked up on being called to the medicine because I haven't actually really sat back and considered those words that I use every day. But the truth is, is you are called as we're called to anything, as we're called to a cheeseburger or as we're called to go swimming yeah. or to go to Mexico. And and what we're told, and I have certainly been told this, is you're not allowed to be called to something because it's no. it's wrong. And that's right. And there's nuance inside it. And and we have to we have to pull back this black or white thinking because yes. it's not for everybody. No, there. I'm not no, here to right. say that everyone should be on shrooms. I kind of think right. it might be a good idea, but <laughs> yeah, agreed. Deeply believe in consent, and it's also not right for everyone. Yeah. And but that's so. And and this is like very American, and I talk about this all the time that we glob on to something, whether it's fasting or psychedelics or the next, you know, Pilates, whatever, and then we have to go all in, and everyone has to do it the same way. And that is exactly opposite of what psychedelics says. Yeah. It can be, it's so different. And, and a microdosing practice, one woman might microdose once a week. One might do five days on, two yes, days off. thank you. One might just do macro doses. All are okay. Perfect. All yeah. are okay. Perfect, perfect.